All right, can this piece of AI powered software help you go from long form videos to short viral video fame? Uh, let's find out. So if you don't know, my name's Jordan Wilson and welcome to Everyday AI, AI in five. So we're gonna be talking today about Spikes. Uh, so Spikes is a, uh, Spike Studio is a long form uh, video content producer. So uh, I already signed up for an account. I'm going to skip to the end and then explain what we do because I like to uh, do this all live if possible. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload a short little file and hopefully we can do this all live to see what the experience is like. And then I'll kind of describe to you what we have going on. Um, you know, so, so many reviews out there for different AI softwares. They're heavily edited, modified. I like to give you all the, the, the real. Um, so let's see. All right, cool. So I have a free plan right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on extract highlights. It looks like the transcription uh, is not available yet. All right. So while this is uploading, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more uh, about what this um, about what this is. So as I said, my name is Jordan Wilson. Uh, I'm from Everyday AI. Uh, we're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping people learn and leverage AI. So uh, make sure you go sign up uh, for our daily newsletter where we do these AI and fives every single weekday. So today we're looking at this one, which is Spikes Studio. So essentially you upload long form uh, video, uh, long form videos, and it's supposed to cut it up into short kind of you know, quote unquote, viral videos, right? Uh, no such thing as making something viral, but a lot of times that's what this style of video is called, especially in an interview format. So um, I obviously have a daily live stream and podcast. So we use a similar software called Video, uh, which does something similar. So uh, trying out this Spike Studios, trying it out live. So let's go ahead and jump in and see, uh, let's see how we're doing here. So one thing I always like to see is, the uh, progress. So the good thing is, is this has a progress bar, which is really nice. However, I mean, it looks extremely slow. So unfortunately, this is one of those that if we do the AI in five, this might take AI in 40 minutes. So not going to do anything else except hit pause right now and give this some time to render. All right, so that actually didn't take too long because what happened is we jumped from about you know 20% to done. So it actually didn't take too long. I was only paused for about a minute. So let's go ahead and see if we can find our way around. So in this clip, I just interviewed Jen Kirkwood, who is uh, an AI leader at IBM. Uh, so I it was a 30 minute video. I wanted just uh, a short, uh, sh shorter piece. So I just uploaded about 10 minutes of this. So let's go ahead and see. Again, we're doing this live. I'm not really sure how it works. Haven't really watched uh, you know, any tutorials. So it looks like it gives you a virality score and you can trash it, you can modify it, you can edit it. Um, looks like you can just download from mobile. I'm gonna hit play. I don't know if it did anything yet. We're seeing tremendous, tremendous full both feet jumping in and CE. Okay, so not even really sure how to use the tool. I'm guessing it's probably this right arrow. I thought maybe I would click on this to go ahead and edit it, but it looks like this would just download uh, the video as is. But you know, obviously the hope is to turn the side-by-side -side video into a viral video and maybe throw some captions on top. I'm not quite sure. So let's go ahead and click next. All right, I'm not still not seeing anything. Let's uh, let's try clicking on one of these. Okay, nothing happens when you click. Videos. This button is to play. I believe this. Okay, there we go. So you have to click 720 HD. Not sure why. Uh, okay, so now it looks like we have some pre-made templates that we can choose from. I'm just gonna choose fancy blue. Sure. Um, and it looks like this is showing the back and forth dialogue. It looks like, I'm not sure. It's showing just one word 
almost one word per line. So it looks like I can adjust the colors, the style, the size, the font. Uh, so I'm also getting the tour here. Um, all right, so let's just go ahead and see if we can't start editing, see if we can create a quick, quick uh, vertical video. All right, so it looks like what I'm going to do here. Again, the interface is not the easiest to work with. So, okay, so it looks like that's my top and that's my bottom. So I would probably want my guest maybe on top, and then I would probably make myself a little smaller here. I don't really want that um, that info right below. So maybe I'll do something like this. Okay. So again, we're just, I don't necessarily want the words over right over my face, but it doesn't look like I have many options. Let me see if I can change the word position. I'm sure there is a way to do it here. Let me just go ahead. I'm just going to change this to small. Okay, so that made the text a little smaller. And let's just go ahead and hit, hit play. Seeing tremendous, tremendous, full both feet jumping in on the generative AI in HR. Okay, so it actually looks pretty decent for, for, for not really doing anything. Um, and I'm sure if I spent a little bit more time with it, uh, I could get this, um, I could get this to work probably just how I want it to. Again, I'm on the free plan. There's not a ton of options um, or at least ones that I could easily see. You know, one thing that I'm sure you're able to do is I would like to move the text, um, but I'm not really even sure how. Not a big deal because I'm sure that's an option somewhere, somehow. Um, also, what would be nice is to have the option on how many words um, you can have on the screen at once. I don't see that as an option. But aside from all that, it was a little, uh, you know, a little bit of fumbling around to get this to work. From the chief um, strategy officer. However, it kind of works. So actually, if I if I were to use this, let me just go ahead. I would probably swap this out. Um, I would get my guest Jen probably right about there, and she's the one actually talking. And then I'll probably do about something like that. And then let's hit play. IBM across the market, across all of the big tech players and consult. And then I would hit save. So um, it's done editing. It's going to render that. Uh, I don't think we need to wait for that. I think we kind of saw what this is capable of. So um, what are my thoughts? What are my thoughts? Um, it's easier to use than I first initially thought. So. Uh, Again, it, it it could be a little explained a little better. I had to really scroll a lot to, to take advantage of the interface. But however, if you just want long form videos into short content, uh, vertical videos with kind of the, the, the popular caption style, uh, Spike Studio is, is pretty good. Um, I think there's some improvements that definitely need to be made. But again, this is a, a very quick look at it. This is AI in five, and now we're at nine minutes. So thank you for joining us. If this was helpful, I hope it was. Go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, subscribe to this channel as well, and hope to see you back for another AI in five-ish. Thanks, y'all.